Hi, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. In today's video, I want to talk about briefly, not specifics in relationship to this, but briefly about implants. You know, why we have been given implants, you know, let's not get into too much of that kind of detail. But as we are birthed into this 3D reality, implants are placed within us. Implants become the version of mind control. It is what makes us live within 3D. The limited mind. Living within the veil. Living within fear. Living within limitations. We all have heard, and I express this um, briefly in some of my videos, and you know this, and I hope you know this, that within our tree of life, there is a tree part that is exposed within the light and a tree part that is unexposed, inverted, living within the darkness. Many people, some people, excuse me, some people go through the work assuming that they are living within the light. Those are those who, <laughs> repetitive words here, those are the individuals who are still living within implants, the veil, and more specifically, the ego. The ego is winning within those who have taken in knowledge, because knowledge can be attained by anybody who can read and who has the ability to understand. But knowledge that is not used properly with love and service can go into the opposite side of the tree. Both sides. There's the tree of life of good and evil. That's why that is called that way. There's a light and there's a dark. There's the revealed, therefore the truth, and then there's an inverted false light. In our process, through our ascension, we can remove these implants that help us to see more clearly. And love removes the implants. When we have implants within us still, it keeps us suppressed. It keeps us more disconnected. It keeps us living within the victim mentality. It keeps us frozen in our steps. It keeps us... Um, from being, we're still very judgmental and critical of other people. We blame still. And the ego is winning and trying to control your outcome. These implants are removed through the layers of proven love and service layers. So let's just go for example here. I am clearing a layer again. I know I am at a higher level because I have evolved from the beginning of my awareness, that is, to where I currently am. I have progressed at a great rate that I am eternally grateful for. I have already felt this type of implant removal but it takes place at a higher level. Your body has implants, and then the layers of your spiritual bodies also contain those implants. For instance, uh, you can be dealing with, implants are more than likely, they can be anywhere on our bodies. They can be in our teeth, they can be anywhere. Whatever is kind of catered to your plan and your origin, Implants can be put placed within you at any place, really. 
Uh, but for the most part, implants are on the left side. It's the father's side. And um, or I'm sorry, it is the to suppress the the feminine side. It is on the feminine aspect, but the reason why I said um, a father to suppress the father is because when we forget the feminine energy, we truly forget the father. We forget who the father of all is in source. And that is the true disconnection here. So to suppress the feminine energy, the feminine side, lots of weakness, lots of pain can be on your left side. If you have experienced lots of pain in your left side, this is where most of your implants are at. That's where mine have been. But keep in mind, it's not limited to the left side only. You can have some on the right as well. You can have it anywhere in your body. So we have the crown of thorns that is, of course, on both sides of the crown. We have the penile gland. We all know that is an implant, a seal that has been placed over or not the good type of seal, the illusion that has been placed over in the penile gland. We have it on the left side of the shoulder, but it can also be on the right side of the shoulder. Or it's actually, your pain could be in your shoulder, but it's actually in the artery. Um, and you can have some in your, your hips, in your, your back of your knees, which can radiate into all of your knees. So after my auto accident, most of, although I had spine injuries, my left side of my hip and leg experienced most of the chronic pain, although it was not limited to, to one leg. It was in both legs, but mostly in the left side. My right shoulder received injuries as well, and um, of course, the my 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 cervical, my spine, my neck received injuries. I had repairs on my neck. I had repair on my lower back, and I had repair on my right shoulder, among other kind of things um, that I had to ex uh, that I went through and experienced or tried out anyway. Uh, so I've experienced both sides of the body having these implants and removals. Now the only thing that removes it completely is love true love. And again, it goes in layers. So I have never really experienced knee pain until the last month, um, month and a half. I've been expressing that prior to the Lionsgate portal. All of a sudden it came out of nowhere. An implant is being removed at a higher level. Although you can have that still the same type of of pain at the very beginning of your process. So keep that in mind. But the difference is how much pain you are experiencing indicates the type of or at the level of where you are at. So although I have, which is not so bad in the past week here, experiencing tenderness in my left, left knee, it's not wiping me out not wiping me out. Had I been the individual who had this type of pain uh, three years ago still, I would still be kind of bedridden, not doing anything, not taking care of myself, going to the doctors and checking things out. And I'm experiencing the left side of my neck here in shoulder blade. The, um, let's see, which is a part of the lymphatic system, and it's the removal of an implant. Now, how ironic is it that this causes or can be a condition that is known by frozen, frozen shoulder syndrome, okay? And that is actually what I was diagnosed uh, 10, 15 plus years ago in my right shoulder, frozen shoulder and I went and got that repaired. I had my shoulder repaired and it didn't heal me even as I had the shoulder 
surgery. I continue to experience pain because pain is an indication that there is an emotional problem. There is debt to be made, karmic debt. There is healing that needs to be done and love should be the choice. So now here I am for two days. And you know what? You can come up with all kinds of excuses. Yeah, I have been more physical in, in exercise uh, for a little over a month as well. I'm increasing my game here. Now, you can be as somebody who says, well, it's just because you're sore from working out. That's a human idea and response. You need to go get that checked because maybe there's something wrong. That's a human idea and condition, a limitation. It's also, when we have that type of mindset, it's a part of artificial implants. It's part, because if we are thinking in uh, negative terms, we're still living underneath that veil. And we're sharing that type of mentality with other individuals because we really don't know any better. Unless we choose love, we can't see clearly. You know, I don't know the aspects of, you know, they have the, you know, what are, what's the, what's the phrasing, and please excuse me. Well, anyway, I, I can't figure out what I'm trying to say here. And the, the purpose of having these implants, or the reason why we have these implants, you know, I don't know why things were placed here like that. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it's just the way that it is. And we have a chance to eliminate it. I'm not going to focus on the whys and the history of, of why it took place. Because it doesn't help where we currently are. And it definitely isn't going to get us further into our ascension process. Focusing on love is the only thing that is going to heal us, help us, and get us closer to what we are trying to accomplish. The purpose of having these implants is to keep you away from your higher self and knowing your God source. It is to prevent you from knowing the Father. It, that's, that's the only reason for it. And to have control over you and keep you in living keep you living in fear it is to keep the false father uh, implant within you which is the illusion that you are separate that you are unworthy and um, all that um, unnecessary stuff so as you go through your process, the major implant uh, that there are so many major, of course, the crucifixion implant is, is huge. If you can get that removed from your crown, lots of illusions are lost. Oh, the kundalini, of course, if you can get that blockage of the, the um, kunda buffer, removed out of the reptilian tail away from your um, coccyx, which allows the kundalini to rise, of course, into your crown, uh, where the crucifixion implant can eventually be removed. Awakening, the hypothalamus, the pituitary, penile, all that good stuff and allows the CSF to continuously flow. And you know there is a process to all of that. So even though I am saying this, um, the crucifixion implant will awaken, well, it's still a process. And only by love does the process become eliminated. So that you can live within light. Light. I don't know anything about the dark. I don't know about living underneath, you know, taking the opposite uh, travels. You know, we have to go and face our ego. And I'm telling you, it can get worse. The veil can get worse. The darkness can get worse. If you choose to go the opposite direction, 
call it black magic, um, then there's black magic and white magic, and that's what it's, you know, black, white, dark, white, and then light itself. You have a choice here, and your heart is the key. Your heart guides you into your true path, your chosen path. I can't tell you what's right. I can't you know, I can only give you guidance based upon my own experiences. And, you know, honestly, if you are following me and listening to my videos, what I talk about, and plus more, whatever it is that is reaching you, is yours. It's a part of you. We not only have our self, our higher self. We have the over soul. We have our soul family. And if you have a resonance with me, you are a part of my soul family. You are a part of the light. But you have to be the one that does the great work. You have to see value in the great work. And you also have to be open to that process. Going through your own mind here and having that dialogue, you know, and, and then choosing the proper expression. Your mind is always seeking to control and stay within limitation. It wants to keep you safe. But the heart is what wants to set you free. It's difficult to choose and it's difficult to make another choice. I know that. I have fought myself more than I can express in this video in the past three years. And even before that, I wasn't fighting myself. I just chose dark. I just chose. No, I'm giving up. No, 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 no. It's you guys are all the problem. I, I kept within the veil. I kept myself hidden. I wasn't giving myself another option until I realized I was waking up. And you have to continuously make that choice. I want to wake up more. I want to wake up more. I want to know the truth more. I want to be love. I want to be light. I want to have peace. Love is the only thing that gets you to God, sovereign, and free. Love is the only thing that clears your karmic debt. That's if you, because love is learning all about their lessons. Love is not pressing your belief onto another human being. Love is never seeing anything bad within another human being. Love is loving all things, whether good or bad. Knowing and understanding that it is the way that it is for a reason. Honestly, how many times have we said in our past, or you have heard, this is happening to you for a reason. And we're like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know with that I know type of attitude. But to really know that what you are experiencing, what I had to experience all of my life, was truly a gift in waking me up. Truly a gift. My being molested as a child, <laughs> as terrible of an idea as it was, as it is, was for me. Being abused physically, emotionally, mentally by past men in my life, in my lifetime, in other lifetimes I'm more than certain of, was for me. 
my car accident that brought me over a decade of chronic pain and misery was for me. Having a premature son with health complications was for me. Truly for me. But the limited self that I once was saw everything that I had experienced like a victim. And I blamed society. Not once did I say or ask, why is this happening? And do I want something more? And then that self couldn't even figure out how to have anything more. Confusion. Love is always the key. Love will bring you closer, will take you to your higher self, will take you to your soul family, will take you out of misery, will take you out of mind control, and will take you back to your God source. You will be free when you choose love. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.